All right, hello everybody. I'm Dave with Green Cars and we're at the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association event here in Portland. It's a test drive and car show. And we're here with Brett Stevens. And Brett, who are you with? I'm with Dymo Trucks North America. Awesome. And why don't you go ahead and tell us about this big boy here? Yeah, thank you so much. Dymo Trucks North America, we're the leading manufacturer of commercial vehicles uh, here in North America. This is the E-Cascadia. We launched into full production last year in October. Uh, so these are coming down the production line, built right here in Portland, Oregon as well at our Western Star Truck Plant and Portland Truck Plant. Uh, this Freightliner E-Cascadia has spec has a roughly 230 mile range and it is capable of really meeting that sweet spot of inner-urban, regional, distribution, short haul applications, whether that's seaport, rail yard, drayage, pickup and delivery. And so how long does it take to charge something like this? Uh, it depends on the battery level. Uh, we offer it with two CCS ports, so a dual port charging solution capable of 270 kilowatt hours, so it kind of gets you that 20 to 80 percent in 90 minutes on a single port up to you know 50 45 minutes on a dual port configuration so did you say that these are currently in production yeah okay yeah, absolutely so how many would you say they've already produced of these uh we can't talk volumes necessarily gotcha. uh let's just say it's well received by our customers so okay. the, the who is who of our legacy customers that purchase our diesel cascaded today mm -hmm. are taking delivery of these as we speak and, okay and then so how about the the towing i don't know if you said that uh, a normal um truck like this would be able to tow yeah, so the typical gross vehicle weight rating nationally for a Class 8 truck is 80,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, this vehicle is capable of 82,000 pounds because we get a 2,000 pound weight exemption because it is a ZEV and okay. the batteries add a little bit of weight to the chassis. So I know with like the Ford Lightning, there's kind of a thing that it can't really haul something because it drains the battery. So as far as hauling this, does is that an issue as well too? Or does it is it does it work well as far as hauling? The only reason these vehicles are on the road is to move freight. Nice. <laughs> so it's, All right. it's just Designed specifically awesome. to haul. All right, that's cool. Well, I appreciate it, Brett. It was nice to meet you, and your vehicle's awesome. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, All right, so have much. a good day. You too.